Okay, everybody, our Father is in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive our trespass. We forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. So uh, we're building here a whole uh, system. Um, uh, um, the, our friend here, they dug all this huge thing and putting all those pipes right now. Mark working well, and John and Nathan all working here on the mountain, doing different projects and uh, to improve all these sites and the house and the what you call infrastructure. And we're working on the other side also, and, and this side in the memorial garden, we was uh, working here, um, trying to do some relocation of uh, uh, moving something around. Um, we uh, we moving some things here that will allow us really to to um, to move the tree, and um, uh, that we can enlarge the area of the hill towards the memorial garden here. And, uh, and this is uh, all uh, part of the restoration of this uh, work that we're doing here. Uh, we have the pool here, we have the big pool here. And so we need to work with a lot of piping and preparing infrastructure on the mountain here. And this is uh, the most amazing thing when the people that came uh, to be with us from a program and Many of you asking yourself, what shall I do now in this time? Should I come to the Holy Land and to Jerusalem? And I'm telling you it's an oasis here. I'm telling you it was an oasis in the time of the Babylonian besiege when the governor here uh, was reside uh, in the Gedaliah, was reside here with Jeremiah and the children of Israel. They are the only one, really, that was not being taken to the diaspora. Being, they've been set up here in this place uh, in a time of great calamity, in a, in a time of great calamity in Jerusalem, and a war, and besieged, and destruction of the, of the temple, and all these things. And people being taken, uh, they took all the treasuries of the temple, different things. And then, uh, after 70 years, uh, the Spirit of the Lord has spoken that he will, uh, to confirm the word that is spoken by Jeremiah the prophet and, um, and uh, uh, Cyrus, the king of Persia, the teacher in Iran today, uh, gave order for the children of Israel to come back from Babylon into the land. As it was then, that this was the oasis, this is Nevayot, this is the place of Samuel the prophet in the mountain here. David the king was here. Our Lord being here. And I invite the Holy Spirit to stir up your spirit right now. That this is a very crucial time. Very crucial moment. Uh, it, it, some of you have um, been many years. Um, uh, maybe uh, you went to uh, one or two waves of economical clash already in the United States in other country. And I'm telling you with all the power, because I, I prophesied the Twin Tower event. <coughs> I prophesied many events. I prophesied this event in October, which I alarm all the soldiers of the armed forces of Israel. But the Bible said they shall obey the prophet and they shall live. If they obey my word as I shout into the sovereign command, in the 27 of the month, only a week and a half or something before the attacks in Simchat Torah in this, uh, in this uh, uh, tabernacle when they did it in October, uh, 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 when people was uh, totally in complacency in the sovereign command and they was not uh, 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 ready to such a swift attack. They knew about it. They foreseen that attack. Uh, but they, they miss, uh, miss it by hours. And I, I want to say, things like that can happen in every country. I'll give you an example. I said, when Putin going to attack on the hour, 
and on the date. And people was ridiculing me here in Israel and all kind of those false prophets and false teachers and even Russian people and even Ukrainian leader. I said, they're going to attack you that day. They said, no, it's only exercises. He's only moving his forces near Ukraine. I said, no, he's going to attack and start a war. And the same thing is in this place. 1973, the same thing. I was with my sister in an honeymoon in the in a conservancy. She's might he invite me to a... Um, uh, honeymoon, it was night, the wee hours of the night. I wake up Samuel, which was the commander of the bunker of the Air Force, and I told him, he's my brother-in-law. I told him and to my sister, a war coming. There are people on the top of us right now gathering. The Syrian army was gathering itself on the, 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 the Golan uh, hide, ready to war whatsoever. Same thing in Yom Kippur. I was in, in charge on all the Southern Command activity and Ariel Sharon, there was a general at the time, told me, Israel, I trust only on your word. You give me daily report of what you see. And I was foreseen also that there will be attack from the Egyptian armed forces there on Suez Canal. Many people captured, like now, they've been taken captive, they've been taken out of the post that I was in charge in the Suez Canal because the people did not heed to the warning. They did not lead to the warning. And now I warning again. I warn all of you around the world, in five continents, start to pack, start to be ready, start to take your stuff and come to Israel like those guys that came already. We will wait for you here. We will assist you. We're taking care about you. You're coming to see the land. You come to see the beauty of the land. And that's the main thing. The first of all, you're coming. Like Abraham, when he was came to the land and God told him, I take you to the land that you never see. I take you from Ukas Dim into the land of Israel. He came by faith. That's why he called the father of faith. And faith require him. Faith require in this matter to come and to follow our father of faith, Abraham, to the Holy Land. This is the hour. This is the day. I said to the North, give up. I said to the South, give up. I said to the West give up and to the East give up the people and the remnant and the bride of God and let them go in the name of Yeshua. Blessed be the name of the living God forever. Many should will be healed from this confusion, from the confusion, confusion in your mind. You will not believe people call me the people that was in total coma, got loose from it in hospital. People is getting healed right now from various diseases, cancer. This person that I've been asking noon time to pray for his brother, you'll be healed. Your brother. Uh, I pray over that, I curse this again, the cancer in your bladder, many in the bladder, in the lungs, in different parts of the body, um, prostate and everything, cancer in various ways, even pancreatic cancer, I pray, I curse it to the root to die and, and disintegrate it and not bring no fruit and release the immune system on your life, uh, divine healing on all over you, all kind of diseases that people told you that is not possible, I just was in the house, and the Lord talked with me about the resurrection of the dead and how to pray for people to raise from the dead. I love you. Be blessed from Jerusalem. You can help us in this thing. We're preparing a refuge city for you here. Uh, we're making all these projects around here. And we need your fervent support, uh, financial support, pray support, and that you come as a commander. You come uh, physically to the land. I love you. I bless you. Be blessed. This evening, may the Lord shine upon you, bless you, and uh, be around you continually in His presence. Holy Spirit, I call upon you to speak to your people. Stir up the Spirit to come to the Holy Land to be safe, that they live in the life of a family. To all the Jews in America, everyone around, I'm saying in different countries, come back home. Come back home. Come back home. This is your home. Yeah, many of you, the lost ten tribes, of uh, the Jewish people, you mingle with the Gentile and thing, it is a time for you right now to come back to your real identity. Um, no matter if you've been expelled from Spania, but Isabella or other things been taken out of Judah and Jerusalem, it's your time right now to receive without hesitation your identity as the children of Israel. The children of Israel, come back to your country and come back to your city. I love you and I thank you for your support. I thank you for your favorite support and I thank the pastors and leaders and people around the world will realize 
there are certain people that God called them to come to this place, be in this place, and restore that country for God. God bless you. In Yeshua's name.